Hey guys, I'm back with another video. So the reason why I came in today is because I want to talk about the new Fenty, what is it, Pro Filter Concealer. I have two of them. Well, I bought two of them. But the one that I see that fits me perfectly would be the shade 300. That one fits my shade, well, my foundation and everything, like my skin, period. Immaculately, it's just like perfection. It's really, really nice. Um, I bought that one and I bought 280. 280 is a little bit too yellow, so it, I don't really like how it looks. This one has a little bit of a orange undertone, so it fits my skin tone perfectly. I love that one. And I also bought the setting powder. Um, this color was honey. Yeah, honey. I also bought the setting powder, honey. I'm gonna insert a picture of it at the top. But that's the shade that I got, and it's perfect. It just looks a little bit too orange, but once it sets in and you take the, you're gonna, just, just stay tuned. You gotta see what I'm talking about. All right, so we gotta do it. We got, we're gonna do what we have to do. So I already put on my foundation and everything onto my face. Um, I already tried semi to fill in my eyebrows. My eyebrows have hint on them, but I filled in the spots that were a little bit blotchy. Um, so I did that already. So I'm gonna basically show you guys how I'm gonna achieve this look that I'm doing. I'm feeling blue, purple, you know. I'm feeling a little bit, I'm gonna do something special today. But I am feeling blue, and blue is my favorite color. So, the obvious, Captain Obvious, right? So, right now I'm gonna have on my foundation, the same foundation that I always wear, which is the Stila Tan Deep Aqua Glow Serum Foundation. I love this. So that's the one that I'm wearing right now. And I also fill my eyebrows in with NYX Dark Brown Pomade. Yes, so that's what I fill my eyes in with. I'm gonna start with concealing my eyebrows and putting a little bit on my lid to start the look. So with the Rihanna, this is how, I already opened the box, I had it for a week now, and I was supposed to bend on this review, but so much has come up, girl. So much has come up, I didn't even have that much time to do so, but this is how it looks in the box. The packaging is normal. Most of her stuff come in the same exact Fenty black box, and it shows the color of the shade at the top. This is definitely backwards. <sighs> Okay, so the, this is the tool that it comes in, and this is the shade 300, as I said before. So I'm gonna conceal my eyebrows, and I'm gonna conceal, you know, I'm just gonna, you know, touch up everything. I'm supposed to touch up before I put on my eyeshadow and everything. I'm just gonna conceal my eyebrows. I'm gonna end up concealing my dark circles and everything, but that's after I put the eyeshadow on because I feel like when you do it before, the fallout gets on it and it's hard to like fix it. So let me just touch up my eyebrows and then I'm gonna start my makeup look. Okay, so once I get to my desired eyebrow look, that's when Hold up. my ColourPop brow ball gel and I just, you know, kind of spike them out so they look a little bit more fuller. And then this is how my eyebrows look for right now. <laughs> I know it looks super duper light, the concealer, but once I blended it everything, I'm telling you, girl, you you gonna just just stay tuned. You gonna see exactly what I'm talking about. But now, since I did my eyebrows, I always start from my eyebrows and my foundation. And after I concealed my eyebrows and shaped them to where I love them or I like them. I think they're great, you know, semi-symmetrical, not all the way, but they're good enough for me. Um, I start to move into the eyeshadow. So the first color I'm going to use, I'm using the Magic Mini by Juvia's Place. And I'm using the bl the darkest blue shade. I think it's one of the dark blue shades called Ify. That's the shade all the way in the corner. I'm going to be putting that in the crease of my eye. So 
I forgot to put tape on my face to prevent fall off and get it underneath. But I'm gonna do that right now. Um, this is the Zulu palette by Juvia. Yeah, this forgot my boyfriend. But this is the Juvia Zulu palette. And the color that I'm gonna use, honestly, I have no idea what this color is called because there's no names, no nothing on it. It's just the purple color right here. Like, like this video, right? If you're always the late person to every event, every party, anything you're supposed to be doing, you're always the late person. I know, I know most of y'all in here always late as hell, especially if you're into makeup like me. You're always late because of your makeup. So I want you guys to like this and comment if you're always late or not, okay? But I'm definitely that late person, always late, and be sitting there looking at everybody like they crazy. After we blended out the purple, what we're gonna do is we're going to add a little bit more of the iffy because as you can see, that blue is becoming non-existent because of the purple. So we're gonna go back in with that blue. But yeah, I wanna do a get ready with me so you guys can see, you know, why I'm always late, you know? And see how awesome my, my um, outfits be when I go out. So after we have done that, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna, I wanna blend out one more color before I put that glitzy, glam color. I just gotta advise a plan to what color it's going to be. So let me see what that color is going to be. Give me a, sec a split second. Split second. It's gonna probably be a blue that's a little bit lighter than the shirt. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get a blue that's a little bit lighter than my shirt, girl. Okay, we're gonna do what we gotta do. Perfect color. So, the color we're gonna be picking, this is the Jaclyn Hill palette. And we're gonna be picking the color Twerk <laughs> from this palette. And it's like a really pretty royal blue, this blue. It's a little bit lighter than the blue that I already have on my eye. To cut out my crease, I'm going to use the Fenty. Remember, it's shade 300. And I'm going to use that to cut out my crease. I'm going to put a little bit on my hand. That's, this color got me twerking right now. So uh, what I'm doing is putting the glitter primer from NYX right where I cut my crease because that's exactly where I'm going to put the glitter. using it's a NYX glitter this color is GLI 11 it's like a purple I think it's violet we're going to go and get the next color the next color um glitter which is teal and this number it's called tail, yeah, tail GL103. Okay, so now I'm back after I took the tape off. As you can see, you see how sharp the ends are? I just love that. So that's why I use the tape. And I also use the tape to clean up the excess glitter or fallout. Because when you use a wipe, I feel like it smudges the makeup. Like even if you don't try not to get near the eye, it still starts to smudge it. And yeah, it just don't work well with me. This is the look right now without me putting on falsies and everything. But right now I'm going to, hold on, I'm just touching up one spot. I'm going to get the 
Fenty concealer to touch up. Well, not really touch up, but just to conceal right here. But before I do that, I want to put a little bit of purple underneath my eyes. So I'm going to get the purple just so I can smoke it out underneath my eyes. Okay, so now there's purple underneath my eye. Now I'm going to put on the concealer. So far, I like it. it applies very smooth. Um, and even for that one time me putting over it, well, of course, I just got to touch up the little corners. But me um, putting it on like this, it applies very smooth. And it really looks like everything is covered. Like, you can't really see anything underneath that concealer. It's concealed spot. So I like that about it. I just like how it feels. It feels very velvety. I just hope the... I just hope the payoff comes like uh, like it shows really well not that it shows really well it hides very well all of like the blemishes and stuff that's there or like the fine lines that are there I hope it hides very well as everyone will say but honestly most of Rihanna products do do what they're supposed to do so I'm not gonna really be surprised if it pulls through but I'm definitely hoping that this consistency and everything stays the same and it doesn't just disappear. It's like a concealer brush, I mean a foundation brush, but I use to blend in the concealer because it blends in great. So I'm gonna um, blend in with that and then come back. My face looks, <laughs> my face looks so damn pale. <laughs> but this is how it goes on. I typically like to get a lighter concealer shade because I feel like it highlights where it needs to highlight the most. Um, how it blends is great. It blends really, really effortless. It's like, it's not really much strength I have to put into blending it. I'm just like doing it swiftly, like very, very fast, very swiftly. Now I'm going to contour, so I want to look su like a, such a, like a damn Casper doll. Okay, I'm going to contour and then I'm going to come back. See, now that contour put a lot more color into my face. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put in a setting powder and then complete my final look. We'll complete the look that I'm going for right now. But I'm going to put on the setting powder, you know, do the liner, lashes, and stuff like that off camera, of course, just to speed it up. Um, if you want a video on how to do lashes or apply my lashes, just comment in the comment section and I will do a video on that alone. If you want to see like how I do my eyebrows and stuff like that, also comment that in the comment section. I will do a video for that alone. But if no one is asking for it, I'm not going to really do it because I feel like a lot of people right now how to fill in their eyebrows. It's kind of easy, but... If you're someone who wants to know how I specifically do it, then please comment in the comment section and I will be more than happy to show a video of me doing it. This setting powder has a really, really good cupcakey smell. So I love that because I just like things that smell good. But it has like a real pretty scented cupcakey smell. It smells really nice. Um so far, I like the way it goes on my face. The only downfall I have of this is that it has a lot of fallout, which I know most setting powders do. Because like, it's, you put a powder on your face, you know? But now me, I like applying my setting powder with the brush because I feel like it sets in better. That's just my take on things for my skin. It does set in very, very good when I do it with the brush. Now if I do it with like a sponge or something like that, it doesn't set in that good. It's like I have to wait even longer to let it set in. But when I do it with a brush, it's almost like after two minutes or a minute or so, it's already set in. So I let it set in while I do my eyelashes and my liner. And I'm going to come right back so that you know. Well, so, so you guys can see me dust it off and give you my final review of all the products that was used today. Okay, so I'm just going to let you know what I do. So when I come out, you don't be like, okay, okay, this, this, this is too much to take in. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my lashes. I'm going to do my under eye liner. Use a typical basic you can find, buy, it, buy it at any beauty supply store. Black eyeliner underneath my eye. Okay, so I did my lashes. And the lashes that I use, I'm going to show you guys right now. But I can tell you the brand. The brand is called La Flare. And they have like a whole bunch of 3D mink falsies. And the number that I used was SD21. But this one is SD26. These are some other ones that I have. But that's how these ones look. They look very like, they're very long. But these are the ones that I use. And I also put some mascara on my bottom lashes. Just to match the flariness of these lashes. Um, I still have the setting powder on. So I'm going to um, wipe it off right now. 
we'll swift it off a little bit um, so I can give you the finish effect. Well, and I also have to do my highlight. And the, the reason why I love this color setting powder that I got is because it adds a lot of warmth to my skin tone. So I also like that about the setting powder. But girl, my skin feels buttery soft. Okay, it don't look dry. It looks very nourished. It looks very good. And it kind of teams up with the concealer. So you see, even though the concealer was very, very light, it still blended out to be great with my skin tone um, because of the setting powder that I use. So based on the foundation that you have, they usually recommend a, a, um, a setting powder that you should use. So the one that I got is the shade. Let me see. It's called Honey. I see a lot of people using the one named Banana. I didn't want to use that because it looks extremely too light, even though I know a lot of people use it because of the Benai Banana Powder. So they think it's going to be, you know, the right one. But that one, no lie, everybody's YouTube video that I watched or read a review on or saw a review on has been very, very bright. So I didn't want that effect. I like the very subtle, you know, um, natural looking um blended look so i felt like that go this went better with my skin tone and even though the concealer was a little bit on the bright side i love bright concealers um because it just adds a highlight to my skin tone i just can't explain it like even my eyebrows look very highlighted without me putting a highlight on so that's why i specifically look for a lighter concealer but when you team it up with this setting powder sweetie baby girl honey honey boo boo chow okay it does what it needs to do. So now that I wiped off the setting powder, all of it is completely gone. You see, girl, don't I look flawless? Like, what breakouts? What pimples? Okay? Even though I barely had any, but what, what, what breakouts with pimples? That's, that's the only thing I gotta ask. What breakouts with pimples? Okay, what acne scars? What blemishes? Talk to me, what fine lines? Okay? Rihanna, you know what you're doing, baby girl. We need to team up. You know what you're doing. Your makeup is magnificent. So this one is called Peach, F Peach Fizz by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Anastasia, I love you, sweetheart. I do. I sincerely do. But some of your products be a little bit, little bit on the expensive side, okay? This is something I was able to um, afford from TJ Maxx. You guys, if you want some affordable, high-end name brand makeup, TJ Maxx, got it all, okay? I done found Anastasia Beverly Hills. I done found BH Cosmetics. I done found, what else? Um, Stila. I done found Too Faced. I done found everything there, okay? Everything that you're looking for, they got it, okay? If you want something affordable, check out TJ Maxx. So now we're gonna move on to the lip color. I'm gonna go in with that Diamond Milk from Fenty. Um, her concealers were great. Um, I don't I don't have an issue with it at all. I love the consistency. I love the coverage. It looks like my skin looks great. Like the coverage is immaculate. It's crazy. It's it's pro filtered. It really is. It's very good. So yes, that's gorgeous. A hundred percent approved. Matter of fact, two hundred percent approved. I really, really like that. Um, the setting powder, which was I got the shade honey. Um, I know a lot of people, I was like I said, I was researching a lot of people did like the banana one. I'm just not a fan of something so vibrant as far as setting powder because we all know what the setting powder, once you put that setting powder in, whatever that color is, it stays like that. And I just don't want to take a picture and I don't like catch with a friendly ghost. I just don't want that. So I will not get banana. So that's why I decided with that to get like a honey because they said they recommend that for my foundation color. My foundation color, I forgot to tell you guys, I'm sorry, is 340. This was my, my Fenty foundation color. That one was 340 and when i look on the website they said honey is a perfect shade for my skin tone so that's why i also got it and i also like the packaging i feel like this is beautiful rihanna i swear you're 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 like in my brain i love rose gold okay but before i leave guys i just want you never mind let me just see hold on baby yes how you like my look let me see you gotta come Baby, you look beautiful. Yes, yes. <laughs> you look beautiful, baby. I love it. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. 
baby. So you got the look. Baby, what you give it? One through ten. That's broke your scale. All right, thank Hello. you. All right. Hello? Uh, all right, all right now. So you heard it first from Bay, okay? Um, but I'm gonna still insert the pictures so you guys can see what I look like in you know close proximity, you know, because I know right now you can see but you can't see. But I cannot see, I'm legally blind. That's my story, I'm sticking to it. I'm but guess what? I'm giving you these glasses too, see. So I'm gonna show you the pictures so you can see what you um what it looks like up close and personal, okay? Please don't mind my pimples, okay? Don't buy my little mustardy sash, okay? All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. I told you guys, let me know what you want to see next because I really don't know what to put up next. <laughs> I mean, I have ideas, but I just, I just care about what my subscribers want to see, and I would be more than happy to put to give you that um that content.